Leo singles, hello and welcome to your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. Check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for more clarity if you need it. Your overall energy is the Ten of Cups. So you may be entering a situation, um, Leo, where you may be very soon experiencing this Ten of Cups with someone. All right, Leo. This could have been a situation in the past where you were dealing with someone, Leo, that um, this could have been a situation, Leo, where you were dealing with someone that you had a lot of passionate feelings for, but it just didn't work out. And there were these feelings of rejection. It looks as though you wanted expansion. Maybe you felt stifled in this relationship. And you just wanted something more. You wanted something that was more beneficial and that would serve your highest good better. So, Leo, it looks as though someone has their eye on you or vice versa. It looks like you want a new start with someone. So you may be extending an offer to someone from the past in order to have this Ten of Cups experience. Or this could go vice versa. Someone could be thinking about you and be thinking about extending their cup of love to you. Now, this was someone in the past that you feel cheated by. You feel like this person brought, uh, you know, dealt an injustice to you. This could have been someone that had a three-party situation and was juggling two people, but their secrets came out. This was someone that was out there exploring their options and, you know, they weren't true to the relationship. So you, this relationship became rather toxic in the past. Could have been with a Capricorn. I'm seeing Aquarius, Leo... Okay, Aquarius and Leo so far. Okay. Um, so it looks like you had the strength to overcome this situation. But at the time, this person could have been very... Um, you could have been dealing with a person that was very egocentric. Someone who was very um, tyrannical. This is someone that, that has a hard time admitting that they're wrong. And that could possibly take forever to apologize. This person could have had those types of characteristics. I'm also seeing the Queen of Pentacles. One of you saw the other one as very nurturing and very caring, possibly. Um, someone who's very down to earth and very, um, you know, career focused. Or someone could have seen you this way, Leah. For some of you, this could have been a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Yeah, indeed, someone was juggling in the past. Someone had a three-party situation. And your intuition could have been telling you that, that something wasn't right. Okay, we got the Page of Pentacles. There could have been some type of a message. Maybe you're not communicating with this person at this com at this time. This could indeed be someone at a distance from you and you are hoping to bring healing to this relationship. And you're trying to garner the strength to be able to move forward to do that. Now, right now, you're taking a break from this relationship. You're taking a break from this person. But you've had these constant rotating thoughts in your head you know your thoughts are haunting you you're kind of over analyzing a situation to the point that you know to the point of um being at nauseam where you stay up at night and you can't think you can't sleep because you're constantly thinking about what happened and how you can fix it and i'm seeing that someone is coming back or this could be you wanting to turn to return back to a situation. But either you or this soulmate of yours, because yes, this is indeed a soulmate, possibly even a twin flame, you're having a lot of indecision about what to do. Keep in mind though, this will not resonate with everyone. This is not everyone's scenario or situation. So this is not just an ordinary ex. So for some of you, this doesn't apply to an ordinary ex. This is a soulmate or a twin flame, okay? But intuitively, you would know this with the high priestess here. I'm so sorry for the glare. There's a level, there's a certain degree of indecision about something. Maybe it's because of fear that someone's not choosing a decision or, or fear of rejection. Someone's not making a decision. Someone feels stuck. 
Now, in the past, one of you was not committed to the relationship. <coughs> you know, this was someone where... And that's what I get with the Nine of Wands, someone who's not in it to be committed. Sorry for the rhyme. I didn't mean to rhyme that. All right, so someone decided that they wanted to give up on the relationship. But having this person back is like having a wish fulfilled. This is something that you want. It's like a prayer answered for you. So I'm seeing that you're going to get communication from this person in the near future. Or you could be reaching out to this person because you have these feelings of remorse about ending things the way that, you know, the way things ended in the past. They ended on a sour note and you're having regrets about that. So this is indeed a soulmate, without a doubt, because it comes up again and again in the reading. Keep in mind, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. This is a soulmate. And because it's repeated so many times, I feel as though this is a twin flame for some of you. So I'm seeing in the past, this situation was not meant to last because it was time to go. The timing was off. This wasn't the the proper time for this relationship. So it didn't work out in the past. But it looks as though the opportunity has come around again. So you're going to get a message from this person. Or you could be reaching out to this person, Leo. This is someone that you likely had this on and off again relationship with. And the thing about these round and round types of situations is we continue to go through the same lesson until we get the lesson. That's why oftentimes we wonder why we go into a relationship and they end up the same or why we go to a job and we run into the same people, but a different face. It's because we oftentimes repeat the same lessons until we get it. So you could have had this type of situation. So this opportunity is coming around again with this person in order for this lesson to be attained. Okay. Some of you may run into this person again. You may hear from this person again. It doesn't mean that you have to reconcile. It could just mean that it's time to make peace with the past and let it go. So the scenario will differ for everyone. But I'm seeing that this person is coming back around in your life. They want to tell you the truth. Or maybe this is a time for self-reflection and for truth to be told within. Because someone is feeling conflicted. And this could there could be a level of self-deception here. But I'm seeing that someone wants to come forward and, and speak to you. So they may be coming forward to speak a truth. This person wants to come back to clean it up. They want to clean up the mess that they made in the past. They want to make this like new again. There could be some spying, some gossiping going on. Someone is really in their head thinking about things, overanalyzing a situation. Nine of Swords and Thinker. I get a strong Virgo vibe when I see this card. Virgo did have similar cards, so some of you could specifically be dealing with a Virgo. There will be a wait time. So in the meantime, Chopwood talks about go about your daily activities. Don't worry about the situation. Just do what it is that you need to do. Focus on your dreams, your goals, your priorities. And on that note... Focus on your priorities, Leo, this week. When you put your, where you put your focus is where you receive your outcome. Your priorities are calling to you, which may produce a feeling of anxiety unless you give them the time and energy they and you deserve. Even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities will help you feel better and more confident. So, Leo, it may be time to free yourself of these constant circular thoughts everything doesn't have to be so serious you don't have to be so cerebral and constantly in your head about things things have a way of working out it looks as though this person is going to come back and there will be this light-hearted energy and this will happen very soon for some of you so it's important to be patient here and allow this situation to play out 
This time it will be about attracting, not chasing. Anything or anyone you chase after will run the other way because of the fears underlying chasing energy. Instead, attract what you need by sending out love, gratitude, and welcoming energy. So it's not about running this person down, mowing them down. Allow the situation to play out as it is supposed to. I'm seeing that this was this involved a separation in the past. You may have you you've obviously separated from this partner because you are single. It may be time to to retreat. time to disconnect from the world go out in nature take a walk spending time in nature helps you shift to a higher vibration and reminds you of god's infinite abundance go outside and enjoy a walk or hike with your pet meditate beneath the tree garden sit under the stars or do some other activities to connect with the limitless vastness i am noticing that going out in nature helps me to center myself and it can bring enlightenment. I feel much more peace and I'm able to make, you know, clearer decisions once I'm out in nature. I know it is cold right now, but, you know, take advantage of the opportunity if you can. Clear your head. The situation is going to involve faith because there could be a waiting period in between. So don't get impatient. Just have faith and trust that if this person is meant to be in your life, that they will be. I'm seeing that if there is financial worry that you will be taken care of. I'm seeing unexpected abundance coming in for you. And at the bottom of the deck is unfinished symphony. You have unfinished business. There's an unfinished lesson that you have with this person in the past, which is why things are coming back around. And this time it will be about forgiveness. And what I feel is that people often get this word misconstrued. Forgiveness does not mean that you condone what happened. It doesn't mean that you say it's okay and sweep it under the rug and act like it never happened. Forgiveness is for you. Forgiveness benefits you because um, unforgiveness and resentment weighs you down spiritually. It impedes your progress. It causes diseases within the body. So... Why not let go? Let go of the old. Not saying that it's it's not easy. I'm not I'm not saying that it is easy to let go, but for your benefit. Even if you don't announce it to the other person, you don't share it with them that they've been forgiven, even if you don't talk to this person again, find it within to let it go. And that's when this enlightenment, that's where this enlightenment comes in. So some of you may actually get that lesson discovery this could be about self-discovery as well but that was also about discovery of some secrets that happened in the past because someone was keeping something from you so at this point this is where i pull the advice card actually no this is a soulmate so we're going to do i'm going to look at how the soulmate feels about you and how you are feeling about them at this current time. Holy Spirit, show me what's going on with Leo. How are they feeling about the soulmate at this current time? How is Leo feeling? Okay, in the past, this could have been a situation where there's codependency and addictions. Sorry, I had to move the candle. Okay, in the past there was separation, but there's going to be this lighthearted energy that returns back to the situation. But keep in mind, free will, this is what you make it. But there will be an opportunity and potential for things to be lighthearted. And that's what the soulmate is hoping, that you're not going to meet them with resentment, with anger. They hope that you meet them with open arms with an open mind and an open heart there's true love the soulmate has true love for you one more for leo thank you holy spirit they want you to make the effort 
Now, how does this, how does Leo feel about this soulmate? Leo, there's some level of deception, whether, like I said, self-deception, with this inability, this uncertainty, this um, inability to make a decision. Well, you could have already been in contact with this person and to some degree may not have been honest with them. Which is why, a, like I said, a healthy dose of the truth is coming. Leo, I believe that you want this soulmate to know that it's safe for you to love. This deception could have happened in the past. And it looks like someone is going to come clean about something that happened in the past. If this is related to the past. But they want to know that the person that they were in the past is not the person that they are now. They want to know that it's safe for you to open your heart. And Leo, you have a lot of chemistry with this person. And at the bottom of the deck, religious factors. Your love life is influenced by religious upbringing or spiritual, and spiritual path. So that could be what this enlightenment is about. Someone could have changed to some type of spiritual perspective. All right, Leo. So this is the point where I pull an advice card. Holy Spirit. What advice do you have for Leo singles moving into the situation with a soulmate? Remain positive. What else, Holy Spirit? Within the next few weeks. One more, Holy Spirit. One more. Thank you. If you believe, ask your angels. There's going to be a waiting period in between, as I stated. Take action. Let go of fear. And it was a no to the past. But now it's a yes. The situation will improve. Leo, this concludes your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. If you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, I invite you to go directly to the website. That's the best way to book a reading. Because as we all know, emails can sometimes get lost in the shuffle and I would hate to miss your reading. And I forgot to read these. The judgment card talks about someone coming back for a second chance. And we've got the star card, which represents Aquarius. Someone wants to bring healing to a situation. Email. You can email me at angelicascensionstarot at gmail.com with any questions. And don't forget the Instant Go app. Instant Go is available to Apple iPhone users or iPad if you have an iPad you can reach me through there or if you have a Mac computer you can go to the Apple store and download the instant go app and what I have available and open is the text option so go ahead and text me your question and I will get back to you within 24 to 48 hours to, to those of you who do not have an Apple phone instant go will be available in the near future to Android phones. The developers of, of the app are working on getting that available. So it will be available very soon. So in the meantime, if you have something pressing like that, I do have an option on my website where you can go to, to um, I have a one question option there. So you can go ahead and book a reading there for that. And I could get that to you rather quickly. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. And for those of you who are new, welcome to the family. I invite you to subscribe. Everyone stay safe out there. Have a wonderful December and I will see you again in a week from now. Bye and take care.